I'm here with Mike Lennon at the RYA Suzuki Dinghy Show, looking at the Thin Air, which is Lennon's first foray into boat building as well as sail design and clothing that they've done so far. Mike, can you tell me a bit about the boat? Uh, yes, yeah, so the boat's designed by David Holland and built by White Formula in, for, uh, in Brighton Sea. And myself and Cam Stewart uh, coordinated on the bits and pieces to get the boat together and getting it into a, a CAD format so uh, it could be tools could be cut and so on. And what are your expectations for the boat? The Moth is a highly complex boat. <clears throat> and we're only adding to that, yes. Um, our expectations, well of course, it, you know, it's a competitive class and we've got to produce a boat which will compete with the best boats around. Currently you would say that's the uh, Maguire Moth, um, that's the sort of benchmark everybody has to get to and we've tried to do lots of little things on here which hopefully to do that but you know, it's never as easy as it looks on paper. You've always been one, a person who's had a lot of attention to details and the aero foilings on this are extraordinary. It looks like there's just nothing in the way to, to keep the boat going fast. What thoughts gone into that? The, there's been a move in that direction. I mean, it's been going on for years. I mean, I remember at the, at the hailing worlds, uh, people were putting fairings on the back, you know, on the, on the back end of the, of the wings so the air would get off more cleanly. You, don't want any, you want to reduce the wake as much as possible. And you know, having a wide wake is very draggy. So everything you do is about disturbing the air as little as possible and getting the air to reconnect as it comes off the boat. So it's just reducing drag. That's, that's the name of the game. So we've just done, when Dave came up with it, when Dave Holland came up with the design, the design is, is quite a, a sort of thin looking boat. It isn't the thinnest out there. Um, I mean, this, this, this uh, stand is second hand, we've borrowed it and our boat wouldn't fit in it, it's too wide. So it's not the thinnest boat out there, but um, it kind of, it has that sort of sleek, sleek lines about it. It looks very uh, aggressive. And to continue that, for instance, the foredeck is, um, wasn't part of Dave's design. This is something that Cam and I have come up with. Um, and we wanted to make the foredeck a sweeping curve into, into this, into this cowling to try and encourage the air to accelerate. If you, put a, if you put a curve in the air, the air accelerates over it. So we wanted to accelerate the air into the bottom of the sail. This sail will be changed eventually to a sail that comes all the way down to the deck. So what we're trying to do is get the, set the air to accelerate into the leeward side of the main sail, and then as it comes over the deck, the, the sail will sit on this cowl <clears throat> down here, and it'd be like the air classes are doing, and, and one or two others. So the, the boat's been designed really around having a low, very low concept rig on it. So that's what, we're, that's what we'll get to eventually. We're not, because we're still in boat building mode, we've got a conventional rig on it now. But we will have a... So you're going to go for a low sail later on? Yes. Now, you're obviously going to be sailing this boat on the circuit and you're the reigning European champion. Um, what events do you have lined up yourself in the Moth class? Well, the big event is Garda Worlds. Uh, that'll be a record entry for the Moth class. So we're expecting well over 200 boats. I think there's already 200 entered and there's, you know, there's still some six months to go to the event. So um, <clears throat> we're expecting that to be a very big event. And the aim is to have some of these boats there and hopefully to be competitive and to be able to give those fast guys that you know from Australia and other places a run for their money and we can but hope. <laughs> well really looking forward to seeing this boat on the water and Mike thank you very much for the talk. Thank you, no problem.